It's your boy Superman 2000. I'm in the flight mobile, man. It is Sunday. I just finished working on my air conditioning unit. Charged it with the Freon. Everything is good. Compressor is low. I gotta replace that. But everything is fantastic. And you know I'm gonna be servicing my minivan. You gotta, you gotta do the maintenance stuff and the equipment around the house to make sure they work, or you'll be screwed if you need it or if you have an emergency. All right. That's my regular update, and I've been studying for my exam, and I got like ton of stuff going on. So I haven't been able to post as much as I like to, but as usual, I'm still immersed in flights. So now here we go. Jermaine, Jermaine Durandamine says she's not gonna fight Cyborg because Cyborg is a proven cheater. Now I've heard this before. Yes, I have. Uh, Michael Bisping said the same thing about Yoel Romero. So I went online, I checked out, you know, I went, I went on Twitter, you know, Cyborg, she's on Twitter a lot. So her response was nice. She was like, come on, girl, have some confidence in yourself. You can do it. There's no need to run. When you believe in yourself, if you think you're that good, you can beat me. So I, I like that response. Of course, I was paraphrasing. So no. It's official. Jermaine Durandamine is running from Cyborg. So she don't want to fight Cyborg. I, 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 I get that. I get that. I get that. I, I get that. You, gonna, you know you're going to lose. You want to hold on to the belt a little while. Try and stall as long as you can until your opponent maybe lose a few steps or until you find a way to beat them. Ah, that's all good. I get that. I get that trying to do the, uh, the best spring move but it is what it is you're a champ you gotta defend your belt now unlike Conor McGregor who straight up says hey I'm in the money for this I'm Dana White pet so he's gonna have to make um, concessions for me while I go and do other random stuff that I want to do to make money uh, do some interim belts or something Jer Jeremy and the random I mean she don't have that luxury okay uh, Cyborg versus Duran, I mean, that ticket is a draw. So she's gonna, Daniel, come here, just, just, and twist her, Twitter. Okay, I, I gotta follow up with him later. So no, Jeremy and Duran, I mean, uh, I mean, she's a, a draw, yes, but she's not that big of a draw. Cyborg is a real draw. People wanna see Cyborg get down, they wanna see some action, they wanna see her get a belt. They know she can do it. So that's the fight as a fan I really want to see. I don't want to hear that excuse of moral high ground. Well, I I, I don't want to fight proven cheaters. Listen, I, I, I hate to say this, but it's called combat, people. The USDA tested her. If she's clean, no, then why not? Let her go ahead and fight. And one of the things I've always said is that if a guy is taking steroids or performance enhancing drugs it'll give you a, a, an advantage in terms of strength probably and probably with speed but when it comes to combat there's more variables way way more variables than that now Chael Sonnen beat a hole in Anderson Silva's face you guys remember that that was, the, uh, that was when uh, Chael Sonnen went to Brazil, beat a hole in Anderson Silva's face, but up to the training camp, Anderson Silva was watching videos of Sonnen, and when he was on top doing ground and pound, he would have his, he would secure his opponent's hand right by his leg because he's a wrestler to either go on top and then come in with the elbow or to come over with a big overhand. Anderson Silva saw that in the tapes, and Anderson Silva took a beating and rode the storm out. If the fight had gone to the judges, Silva would have lost that belt. Chael was on top of him, pounding him out. Anderson Silva got him with the triangle, tri triangle, tri triangle choke. The brace is still messing me up. I got him tighter recently. So angle, Silva still got him with the triangle choke. And it sounds crazy, but there are more factors in combat. Cheaters, They'll win sometime, but it's, it's only a matter of time before that type of stuff runs out. So we're come, we're, when you meet somebody who 
has the skill and ability, you're going down. So if I was the run, I mean, I wouldn't uh, back out. I'd say, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Let, let us do this. Because if you fight and you lose, there's nothing wrong with that. Like right now, I, 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 I just got a friend of mine, David. I, I, I just secured a, a what's it called. I just got some trash team on Friday. And we're going we're gonna to do a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu showdown. My ground game is horrible. But you know what? He's probably going to beat me and beat the pop out of me. But I'll improve. I'll get better. And then I'll come back. And then, then, then we'll go at it again. But that's how it is. You know, because cause, uh, it, it's guys I fought in the past that, I mean, they beat me up. Uh, one guy beat me up so bad he had to take a, a, a break because he gassed out. And then the next time I fought him, it, it, it was easy. My, my fight IQ was up. I was able to pick him apart, get in the pocket, strike at will, load him down with legs, kick, just kick the legs from underneath him. So it, it works like that. And that's how you, 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 you're you mature and you develop as a martial artist. Running from a fight, that doesn't solve the problem. Because if you run from Cyborg, more than likely, you're going to run to somebody else who's just as capable. So the fight, Jermaine Durand, I mean, I want to see you fight Cyborg. Dana White, you... I can't insult Dana White because uh, I said I wouldn't talk about the Conor McGregor Mayweather fight, so I'm not going to insult him by that. But Dana White, make it happen, man. Make it happen. All right, guys, my two cents from the fight here. Peace out. DC, I'm going to hit you up on Twitter. Peace out.